You probably saw the article last week that they did on Trevor Harmon and, and Mike Fernett out of Cumberland Valley. And Trevor is a redshirt freshman. Last year he got redshirted. This year is his first year of playing, and he is doing a tremendous job for us. Not only is the kid a good football player, but the kid is a good student. The kid is, he works hard. He's, again, he's a Cumberland Valley kid. And when you get kids out of Cumberland Valley, our experience with Cumberland Valley kids are this. They come in, they work hard, they're blue collar kids. Uh, who want to do everything right, yes sir, no sir type of kids when it comes to the football field. And, and it's, a, it's a great privilege to be able to coach kids like Trevor Harmon. I will tell you that. Very on tempo. Uh, what I noticed coming in last year was that so during special teams, you kind of just hung out and kind of nice switch it. And now it's very different now. And you have Coach Yurcich back there, and I feel like that's what that's what really helped us with our offense and the timing that we get and the speed. And so it's a lot of work off the field. Well. Realize how much time that we do actually put on the field. Every day waking up at 6 30 to go watch film and sometimes get yelled at when you're tired. That's, that's definitely a way to wake up. <laughs> Uh, uh, as a football player. 
And the kid will do anything for being a Red Raider. He will do anything for this school. He will do anything for this program. And it's amazing. He is as smart. He knows the offense. He knows the signals. He, he's a key player in how successful we can be on offense because he does a lot for us. So I put him on here just because, you know, he's Italian and he gets a little bit excited. <laughs> and he talks with his hands, especially when he's running. All right? So I put him in here. I figure I'll get the, if anybody's going to give me effort. Now, again, Jeff Tomasetti is not close to being the fastest guy on the field, but who's look, look who's down the field first. It's Tomasetti. Now, watch what he does here. He just takes it. He's like, oh. he's like, I'm telling you. He's a quarterback. He's a quarterback. This is what I'm talking about. This is pure effort. And again, when you're out on that field and your adrenaline's going and you get a guy who wants to be successful and who wants to be on that field, it's amazing what he can do. He, he's not even close to being the fastest guy on the team. But look at him. He just takes him out. Takes him out. Look at him. And when he come off the field, his eyes were this big. I don't know because he hurt so bad or he's excited. But Well, that, that might be motivation for those fast guys to... Get that there a little quicker. Don't you think I didn't use it this week? <laughs> play this well offensively. We had to, you know, have a lot of things going for us. And the defense playing well. We came the ball back in the first half constantly on good field position. Really helped. And, uh, you know, our, our offensive line did a tremendous job Saturday. You can't have as much success as we had whether on the ground or through the air without tremendous offensive line play. So if he keeps on going laterally with the ball, he might only get four-yard gain. And he also risks turnover. <laughs> Uh, he does a nice job securing it and getting vertical straight to field, getting his pad level low and driving his knees. That's what we teach. He extends the ball, scores a touchdown. Just outside zone to the right offensive line, right tackle does a great job of hooking his guy. And, and we really could take this out, but the right guard kind of helps him out, pushes him out, so Mike makes a good cut. Decent perimeter blocking by the by the outside receiver. We call him the Z. Good job by the E. And a heck of a run. Uh, this was all quarterback here. This was uh, fourth down right before, I think it was right before half. And uh, it was fourth down. We were just, hey, can't get the field goal. too long. Decent win. So, hey, make a play. Make a play. I'll scream right now. Make a play. Make a play. Hey, try to throw it in the end zone. Better than a punt. And he makes a play. Good job. Good scramble. Throw right so I look down. This is one of the fourth down and 19 plays we have on our chart. So I call him. <laughs> Thursday night sitting here. Okay? But if we don't do that, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. It's supposed to snow, it's supposed to sleep, it's supposed to rain. All right? Who knows what it's going to do? But we got to stay focused and play football. Quarterback is a player who runs well. He really does. And he's found it the last two games. That quarterback has found his running game. He likes to run now. He'll tuck the ball, he'll run, uh, they'll have, uh, you know, option plays where he'll run. Even on pass plays, he doesn't sit back there very long, he just takes off. Now, they never did this before, they never pulled the guard until against East Stroudsburg. Every other team, team it was a naked boot, now they're starting to pull the guard out there to get that guy. Here's a zone read play right here, 43 zone read, the quarterback has the option to give it or keep it. He'll drop nine. And that's, I think, what happened to East Stroud is they got into this mode where they had to throw, had to throw, had to throw. We were dropping nine. We're only rushing two guys. There's only so many people that you can throw to with uh, pretty much nobody. Um, it, it's tough to get somebody open when they're dropping nine. You only have five. You know, it's nine on five. It's confident that we can line up with our spread personnel and attack this very well. However, it's never a guarantee. Sometimes they're only going to drop or they're only going to rush two. So. Also, Don Schaefer brought this in, and I think this is going to be our new helmet next year. Look at that there, huh? Isn't that neat? What year is, what year is this? Going? Early 40s. Early 40s right here. I would love some of our kids to wear this helmet right now. <laughs> Becky, you would be busy. But I think that's pretty neat. So, that is neat. Thanks, John, for bringing that in. coming in guys we, we really do appreciate it and uh, we're going to be home next week okay we've been on the road for three weeks we can't
wait to get home.